Y'all know what it is already, right? It's your boy Quest, and this is your marriage moment. <laughs> Let's go. What up, y'all? Welcome to another edition of Marriage Moments. For those of you who are watching for the first time, it's your boy Quest, as always, man. Uh, big shouts out to the Sierras and uh, my lovely wife, Faith. Uh, last night for the um, the good, the bad, the sexy. Let me tell y'all something. I feel like I'm, I'm saying it one too many times. Week after week, and let me not say week after week, every two weeks, we are on Facebook Live doing the good, the bad, the sexy, talking about different topics within marriage. Topics that will allow you to grow in some way, shape, or form, right? Um, and guess what? We're open to suggestions from you. I wanna just get right into it real quick. Um, over the last couple of weeks, man, we've been doing or we did a four part series on the Grow Manifesto, right? Which is really based in the DISC assessment, right? Um, and the G stands for God, right? Which deals with the decisive nature of God, which is where your marriage should start with God. But it also speaks to the decisive nature of who we are, right? Now we know that God is all four parts of the DISC assessment, but we want for that area just to speak to the decisive nature of God. So that's why the G is for God. The R is for relationship which describes the interactive, the O for oneness, which describes the stability, the people that wanna bring oneness to any situation, relationship, you feel me? And then there's the W, which is willingness, and that speaks to the quality, right? The person who is willing to add structure, detail, the one who is willing to be organized in order to see a thing through. But as we talk about grow, I just wanna talk in and of itself the word grow. Like for real, this is the season. As you see it, y'all, we're moving into a new season. Your boy's beard is gonna be growing out over the next couple of weeks. Why? Because the weather's starting to get colder, right? The, the temperature's starting to drop, right? And what we used to wear in terms of clothing during the summer season, we can no longer wear moving into the fall season. Now I know some of y'all are a little bit crazy and you you like this cold weather a little bit and I'm gonna see some of y'all wearing uh, shorts out here in uh, 50 and 40 degree weather. Y'all can go ahead and have that. You won't find your boy doing that. But for most of us, right, who know that when it gets colder, we can't wear t-shirts and tank tops and shorts anymore. Now we gotta wear sweats and hoodies, you feel me? Now we gotta wear wool and coats and jackets and scullies, right? Why? Because we're moving into a new season. And I'm saying with some of you, you cannot do the things that you did of old seasons of your marriage and do them in a new season. You gotta grow now. All right, so let me help somebody out. I called my home girl. Unfortunately, she experienced a divorce. She's got two children by her divorced husband. And of course, my man is not as responsible as we would like for him to be as it relates to this situation. Because, you know, sometimes relationships can get really nasty. And she said, well, why can't he do this? And why can't he do that? And I said to her, sweetheart, I'm going to say this and I'm going to keep it 100 with you. The reason why you're dealing with what you're dealing with is because you made the decision to be in marriage with this particular person. And the quicker that you realize that my man is not going to be as responsible as you are in this situation, the better off you'll be. Now, we can sit here and talk about all the symptoms and the results and what's happening after the fact. Or we could just come to a conclusion and do what we need to do and move on to the areas of life that we should be in. I've seen children come from one parent homes and thrive. What am I saying? I'm saying that what she did in the previous seasons as it relates to his irresponsibility, right? If that's what we want to call it and the things that he did in the past, like for real, you made that decision to be, oh, well, uh, 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 she said to me, she was like, well, why does he have to do it to the kids? Once again, we can sit here and go through all the different things as to why he's doing something, why he's not doing something, right? Or we could cut that loose, let it go and just move in a positive direction. Why? Because in this new season, what you used to do in, in the old season as it relates to the issues and problems will not work for you in this new season. Your children are getting older. They're becoming wiser. They're drawing their own conclusions. I came across two texts that jump-started this whole thing for me in terms of growth this week, right? The first text comes from Romans 12 and verse two, and it says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and the perfect will of God concerning you. Yeah. 
Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That in and of itself is synonymous with growth. The ways that you used to think are not conducive to the places in which you are now moving and going. Uh, second text that just blew me away was that Luke 2, 52. And Jesus grew in wisdom and in statue and in favor with God and man. Another text synonymous with growth. Jesus grew. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm a Christian, right? So which means I follow the practices, policies, and principles of Christ as it relates to marriage and many other areas of my life. And so one thing I know about Jesus is that he was always going from glory to glory. He was always going from one level to the next. He was always growing. And if he's the ultimate example for me, then guess what? I need to be in a position where I am always growing. And for some of you, the reason why you're frustrated, the reason why you're disconnected and despondent, the reason why you are so angry right now is because you are trying to apply the things from the old season in the new season. And I'm telling you, the places of growth that you are to go to, the new things that you're supposed to experience in your relationship, you are not experiencing because you are still doing the same old, same old. And one thing I know is that if you're doing something and it doesn't work, then you shouldn't do it anymore. You should immediately stop. Well, Quest, you're simplifying it. No, I'm not simplifying it. That's where you start. If you're doing something and it's not working, how can you do something else without stopping the, the, the first thing that you started? It's not working for you anymore. Stop and move on to the new thing, right? So I'm telling y'all in this new season, and I'm going to keep it 100 with you. If you do not grow, you're going to cause some serious harm to yourself and potentially to your relationship. The first thing I want to tell y'all today is like for real, be healthy because unhealthy things don't grow. If you are unhealthy, you will not grow. Get the healing that you need so that you can grow the way that you need to grow. And so your, your relationship can experience what it was ordained to experience. The only thing that's holding it back is your refusal to grow. What happened in the last season, what worked for you in the last season will not work for you in this season. Yeah, it's your boy Quest Man saying from shaky to good, from good to great. Ultimately, what we want is phenomenal, but phenomenal don't just happen. It takes work. So let's do that work, because if you're not working on your marriage, then my friends, what are you doing? Peace. What up, y'all? It's your boy, Quest Man. Listen, I am a firm believer in marriages winning. That's right, including yours. So if you know somebody that might be able to use this information, or you might be able to use this information, subscribe, comment in the section below, like, and like I said, share with someone else, all right? If you want to reach me on social media, yeah, my Instagram link is over to the left, all right? Peace.